Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to talk about animating flourishes. Now, animating a flourish can be a long and kind of a tedious process. Hopefully you'll learn some things to make things a little bit faster. Um, but once you have an animated flourish, you can use it on all sorts of things. So this is the flourish we're going to be animating today. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to knock out this background and be able to um, have an alpha channel on this. And the reason for that is because I'm going to auto trace this in order to make masks out of everything. So first thing is go to effects, keying, extract, and this we can just extract the white out of it. And then I'm going to take this and then pre-compose it. So command shift C will pre-compose. Give it a name. And then make sure you move all the attributes. Otherwise, you really aren't um, pre-composing the alpha channel into it. It just still has that extract filter. So once we do that, now all of that is inside the composition, and it looks as if it, though it has a alpha channel. And then we can go up to Layer, Auto Trace. It's going to bring up an auto trace, and if you have this click preview, then it's going to show you where it thinks that the mask should be and that's looking pretty good so I click OK and then what we have done is we have made eight different masks for all the different parts now before I go any further you'll notice all these masks are set to none I want to set these to add now I'm gonna use a little script and you can get the script from AE scripts and there's a link in the description where you can find it and it's called masks to layers and what it does is it takes all the masks you have on one layers and it copies them out into new layers each with its own mask and I'm going to keep everything the same and hit proceed and what we did there is if I solo these each one is its own layer pretty cool. Now with them each being their own layer, we can it's easier to animate them and we won't have to worry about the others getting in the way. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. Let's just start one at a time. I can mask around this. I can just do a reveal or I can draw on this with a paintbrush and have that reveal it. My favorite way is probably to do the paintbrush. So we highlight this layer, grab my paintbrush tool, double click and it brings it into paint mode and maybe let's bring the diameter down okay so 50 and I'm just going to as smoothly as I can paint over this just like that now if we come into the effects for the paint I'm gonna switch this to silhouette luma and then come down into the brush and when we when we animate the start from 100 from 0 to 100 well then it's going to make it look like it's riding on so key from the start go forward a few frames animate it on okay let's see what this looks like in the main composition Okay, it looks pretty good. So that's the first one. Now let's check out the second one. Now what we want to do is we want these to kind of animate and build off of each other. So I want this one to start when this one kind of hits right there. So at this point in the timeline. So let's go ahead and grab the paintbrush again. And make sure you have enough room in your mouse pad to move around. You want to try to get this in a nice, smooth... motion. Go down into the effects, into the paint, and there's a couple of things we need to do here. First off, go to Silhouette Luma, and in the brush, down the stroke options, bring the spacing down, the hardness down a little bit, and then keyframe the start. Go forward a few frames, but then what we need to do is take this brush layer See how it starts right here? We need to hover over the end and then make that start at the beginning. 
And then what that will do, let's go back to the composition. Okay, maybe make that a little bit faster. Okay, so that's number two. Now I'm going to just continue on and go through number three. This one's going to be a little bit easier. And this one's pretty straight. So I might be able to, instead of doing a paintbrush, I'm just going to mask this. So since there's already a mask, you need to mask around it. And then the second mask, go to intersect. And then you can see here now I can keyframe that mask. So let's bring that down. Click in the mask path. Just adjust the mask so it fills it up. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then the key is to go through and get all of these working, just one at a time. So I'm going to go through and finish animating all of these one at a time, and then you can see the finished animated flourish when I'm done. Okay, I've got all of the flourishes animated on. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is when you use the paint, make sure you use the, have it be the color white. And that's what works with this Silhouette Luma, is when it's white like that. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, to add a little bit more variation to this, we can go in and do things like with the pen tool. So let's just take one of these at a time, like this first one, and right where it gets to the end, right here, this is where I want everything to be like this. And so this is where I'm going to take the puppet tool, the puppet pin tool, and I'm going to put a few points right on this. And because it'll automatically key create keyframes at the first point in where you start. And then let's go back to the beginning. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to turn off this paint effect so I can still see. And let's kind of have this kind of curl up a little bit more. Turn that back on. And now it's going to kind of animate out. It has just a little bit of more life to it and we can also here at the end is kind of keyframe the the end of it so it kind of jiggles a little bit so let's take a look at that all right so that's animating flourishes have fun use the puppet tool you can do more. I just uh, just did the one. It does take a lot of time, as you can see, but some things to make it easier, using the paintbrush, again, you can easily paint over the flourish. And also, if you make sure you auto-trace. So auto-trace your flourish so you can have all the masks. And then use this, this script, Masks to Layers. And if you want a link to that, it's down in the description. It's a Name Your Price script uh, available at aescripts.com and there's a link in the description so hopefully this helps you out for when you want to do some animated flourishes or really anything kind of growing maybe even vines could animate this way so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time